Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Dover Downs here on Wednesday. It is the 1st of November, 2023. Going to look at the 12th race from Dover. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. And I mean it around the world. The 12th, it is a Phillies and Mayor open pace. Field 6 Pacers going that mile trip, going for that $25,000 purse. My top selection, I'm going to go take the two horse Southwind Mina. I'm going to go 256 in our trifecta. 256 trifecta top selection two or south one mina five-year-old mare by always be mickey bobby glassemeyer trains us one Montreal Teagues in the Sulky. The horse's most recent out came the Philly Mare Open Handicap at Harrington last week on the 17th of October. And the horse finished third by neck. He had a wide post draw that day. He had a bit of a wide trip throughout. He was really gaining late, and he just kind of yielded late. But I didn't think he ran a half bad race. Back to the 5-8 mile track where he's really run his best race his lifetime with a very good post draw some decent runs last time out. I expect him to really get a good race and, and win today. Two back in the cane at uh, Harrington, 10th of October. He finished second by half a length. Again, he sat back early, a little bit of wide trip late, and, and the winner took off clear late, um, Tay. But this horse, he he, um, he he ran his heart out against the, the incredible winner there. And then 25,000 claimer at Harrington on the 2nd of October. He finished second by a neck again from the rail. He didn't have a lot of gate speed. He got over a little bit wide late. He just missed late, you know, pacing a final good quarter mile. You know, 154 and, and 3. I didn't think it was a half bad race. And then his most recent victory in a 17.50 claimer at Harrington. Winning by three quarters in length from a tracking trip. He really took off clear. 155 and 2. That was a very good run. Come back here to the bigger open handy, to the open uh, here. I think he could win or she could win. I think the five horse Vivian's Dream is your second likeliest winner for Tony Morgan. Most recently in the Glen Garnsey at. Um, at Lexington Red Mile a few weeks ago, she finished fifth by 10 three quarter lengths and was just facing tough horses. Wasn't keeping up there. If you go just through some of her races, she ran the Jugget a few weeks prior where she wasn't getting into it, and then ran in the Sire Stakes final at Yonkers where she never really got going. Her most recent victory was a very nice victory in the uh, Empire Breeders Classic at um, at Togue in late August. Winning by half a length, closing up for nowhere on the 5 eights. I thought this was a very good race for her in 152 flat. Coming back to a 5 eights mile track, getting some serious. Clash relief at three to one or seven to two. I'm going to use her on the ticket and I'm going to do some nice exactos with her and Southwind Mina. So, an exacto box here with both of them. But to recount my selection for the 12th now from Dover, going to take this two horse Southwind Mina. Give kudos to the five horse Vivian's Dream, uh, two five six try cash trifecta, two five in her multi race. So, good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kid five. Good luck, everybody.